channel. My name is Kiki. Today's video is all about Christmas appetizers. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a couple really simple, really delicious Christmas appetizers that you can enjoy with you and yours. So just as a reminder, my cookbook, Simply Wholesome, this is my family style cookbook, is restocked in hardcover right now. There's only a limited quantity and we will not be printing more hardbacks anytime soon because it was such a nightmare to get to this place. So until we figure out, you know, a different way to get it done, there is a limited quantity. So if you want my family style cookbook, make sure you pick it up. I will link it for you guys below. And my cookbooks are full of pictures. There's a picture for almost every single recipe in here because I love cookbooks that have lots of pictures. My weight loss guide and cookbook is also available. I will link both of these for you guys in the description box below. This is where I share how I lost 70 pounds and keep it off. And if you are new to my channel and want to know more about how I lost 70 pounds and have been able to keep it off, then make sure you check out my maximum weight loss playlist on my channel. I will link that for you guys below as well. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really yum and festive cranberry hummus cheese ball. I grew up in the 80s and there was always a cheese ball present at the holidays. So I had to find a way to replace the cheese ball and I really like what I've come up with and it's really simple. I think you guys are really going to like it. I'm also going to show you guys how to make these delicious crostini that are topped with apples and my vegan brie and seasoned with a little mustard and thyme. They are so good. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to make Monte Cristo bites. This is just like a glorified grilled cheese but it's amazing and I make it every Christmas and if you're not already following me on Instagram make sure you follow me there I'm always posting recipes that I don't have videos for here I'm also always showing more lifestyle and food inspiration and constantly posting to my stories so make sure you check me out there as well all right let's get cooking All right guys, so for this cranberry hummus ball, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this oil-free hummus and I'm gonna take two packages and empty them into this bowl. You can of course make your own hummus, but you guys know me, I don't like to make hummus for whatever reason. So I like to get this oil-free stuff. So to this, I'm gonna start adding some fresh herbs. This is a quarter cup of fresh parsley, and I will have the recipes linked in the description box for you guys below. So I'm gonna add some parsley, some chopped green onion. I'm gonna add some chopped sweet and dried cranberries, and I just found them at the grocery store. And then we like ours a little spicy, so any of this stuff you guys can really adjust to your own liking but we do like ours with a little bite and a little pepper. Then I am gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then this is a teaspoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce. So growing up, we always had like a smoky cheese ball at Christmas. So I do like to add a little bit of this liquid smoke and I'm only gonna add about half a teaspoon. And again, you can adjust this, you can add more, you can add less, you can completely leave certain things out. All right, so now to help this kind of stick together and form a nice ball, I'm gonna add about a cup of some pretzels that I just put in a bag and crushed up with my rolling pin. These are the gluten-free pretzels we are using. So I'm gonna add that in, and then we'll put some pecans on the outside. Now the last ingredient I'm gonna add, which I almost forgot, is two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And that kind of helps give it a cheesy flavor, but if you don't like nutritional yeast, just leave it out and it's still a really delicious appetizer. All right, so now I'm just gonna get it on my plate and I'm gonna kind of shape it. All right, so I'm gonna wet my hands and then I'll be able to shape this without it all sticking to me. All right, so my hands are wet, so I'm just gonna give it its round shape. And there you go. Now you can certainly serve it just like this, but I'm gonna add some crushed pecans on the outside just cause it's Christmas and this is how we always had it growing up. Thank you. 
And there you have it. You just serve that up with some crackers and some fruits and vegetable, and it's a perfect appetizer. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the toast made. So I like this brand of bread called Izio. It doesn't have any oil in it, and they only have a few ingredients. They're really clean, but I especially like that they don't use oil. So you want pieces that are gonna be able to hold some apple and be a good size appetizer. So I'm gonna leave these ones whole, and then I'm gonna cut the rest of these in half. Just like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these guys just a light spray with avocado oil. You can totally skip this step. This is not something I use regularly, but around the holidays, I do want everything to look nice and golden and crispy. So again, you can completely skip this step. All right, so I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 for a few minutes and let it toast up. All right, so while that bread toasts up, I'm going to slice up the apples. I always use Honeycrisp apples, they're my favorite. They taste like cider to me. And you wanna cut them pretty thin. All right, so my bread is nice and toasted. I did flip it over halfway through once the tops started to feel nice and toasty, I flipped them over. Now you don't want them to be super, super toasty. You still want them to have some give, but you want them to be nice and lightly toasted because we're gonna throw them back in the oven. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread some Dijon mustard on these pieces of toast. I'm also gonna use some stone ground mustard. This one has a sharper mustard flavor and this one's definitely creamier. Another mustard that goes really well with this is horseradish radish mustard and that one's actually my favorite but I am all out so you can put as little or as much as you want now my little one does not like mustard nor does my husband but they love these so I'm just gonna take our slices and load up our pieces here. All right now, I make this really good vegan brie. I will link the recipe for you guys in the description box. It's really delicious, especially around the holidays. So I'm just gonna top the apples with a little bit of this vegan brie. Okay, I'm gonna get these back on my baking sheet and then back into the oven for about five minutes. All right guys, so our toast is out of the oven. It's perfectly toasted, everything's nice and warm. So now just to finish these up, I'm gonna take some chopped dried sweetened cranberries and sprinkle a few on each one. Then I'm just gonna take a few chopped walnuts and sprinkle those on top as well. And you can leave out any of these things that you don't like. You can leave the nuts off if you want. They make a really nice addition for the holidays. And then just as a little garnish, I'm gonna take some of these thyme leaves and sprinkle them on. And there you have it guys. It's super simple and really delicious. I hope you guys give it a try. guys for this last appetizer it's really simple but I promise you it delivers a big on flavor and happiness so I'm gonna use this sourdough again by this company Izio just because it is so clean there's no oil in it 
You can see the ingredients are very minimal and I just find it in my regular grocery store. Now these are basically like a glorified Christmas grilled cheese. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take some, some fruit juice sweetened raspberry jelly at most grocery stores. But again, if you can only find jelly that's been sweetened with sugar, it's not the end of the world. It is Christmas. Okay, now I'm going to put some more of this brie cheese sauce that I made on it. I love rosemary and I think rosemary goes really nicely with this. So you can use it if you want and you can leave it out if you don't like it. And then I'm just gonna put the tops on. And now my nonstick griddle is nice and hot, so I'm gonna put them on here and let them grill up. All right, so now these are all nice and done. Traditional Monte Cristos growing up in the late 80s, early 90s were full of ham and cheese, and they were usually battered and deep fried and then covered in powdered sugar. Now, I have made these plant-based, obviously, but for the holidays, I am gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. You can completely leave this out, but it is a fun little addition, especially for the holidays. All right, so I'm just gonna put a tablespoon in here. Like that and then I'm gonna garnish them with a little bit of rosemary all right and there you have it That is it for me today. Make sure you stay tuned next week. I'll be showing you guys some Christmas main dishes. I hope you enjoyed seeing these recipes. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. If you make them, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I love seeing you guys try the recipes that I share with you. Remember to keep life and food simple. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.